I want to show people <laughs> who you really are. <laughs> Don't get too excited, people. But seriously, you... Which side? And which not... side? <laughs> again on Let's Talk with Sarah, and we have an absolute treat. I don't think we can call this a library. It's pretty much a museum, so we're going to learn all about history. Don't go zoning off on me yet, okay? This is fun history. This is fun stuff, a lot of collection, and we are here to meet with the person behind all this craziness. I will show you all the shoots, shots later, but so. You don't actually, most people don't know him for his collection of all incredible, incredible things. I mean, we heard he has, um, what do you call those? Black discs, disc, black discs, yeah, black discs, Wayang masks, and even all, anyway, I'm not going to name them one by one. He's going to name them for you. So we have Mr. Fadli Zon here with us. Please come and join me. Wow, thank you very much. Thank you, thank uh, you. Thank you for inviting me. Well, thank you for allowing me to be here. And um, amongst all these incredible historical pieces, we will talk about that later. Sure. But how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good too. I'm excited. Yeah. This is a new thing. So what is life after parliament? <laughs> I'm in transition. It is nice. Can I just say, a lot of people have been telling me, Sarah, you look so good. I'm like, yeah, because yeah. I don't have to think about the yeah. <laughs> I don't have to think about my constituency <laughs> or the country anymore. I am free as a bird, <laughs> so I don't envy you. Just to just to let you know, I, I don't envy. You. I envy you actually. Oh, right. <laughs> you want to switch places? Because yeah, yeah. I did. You know what? To be honest, I did. I did tell a few of our colleagues. I said, you know what? If I do get back in. I want Ketua BKSAP. I want, and then I heard, and then I didn't get it there. You got to like, okay, never mind. Then that settles it. I'm not going back in. No, you should, you should. No, no, no. And this is just an interruption. <laughs> interruption. It's okay, it's a transition. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's always something new ahead. And this is one of it. Yeah. I, I, I'm excited that we have this show and you're our, you're in our first batch. It was mm. just who gets to shoot first, okay? Thank you, thank you. And so I'm so excited. A, so a lot of people don't know that we've known each other long before we were in politics. Yeah, yeah, of right? course. Right, because yes, our, yes. Our, our family has known each other. Our My my dad and my uncle have known yeah, you for course, a long yeah. time. Uh, so I've known you way before you became uh, vice president. Speaker, is that is that what we call it? deputy Vice speaker, speaker yeah, deputy or speaker. deputy speaker? Yeah, that's right of the house. So here we are. Now, before we talk about your collection, I want to show people <laughs> who you really are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too excited, people. But seriously, you which side and which not... side? <laughs> that is true. That is uh, a very good question. But we'll we'll start from the basic. We'll start from not the beginning, but at least you know mm. your younger days before you became who mm. you are now. If we can wow. just think about your school days, right? You actually graduated high school, you were just telling me. Mm -hmm. You graduated in America. Yes, yes. In San Madison. Antonio. San Antonio, Texas. Right. And Arlandale High School. <laughs> that was actually during AFS uh, exchange program. I see. So in San Antonio. What year? Was, uh, <laughs> 1989 to 1990. Right. So it was very, I think, important time because at the time the Berlin Wall also, That's true. you know. That's true. Uh, and then also at the time during the... So you the, got to see it abroad even yeah, yeah. with everything that's going on. During that time. So it was my formative years and it was one of the best years in my life. Wow. Okay. And then also that, you know, brought me become like this, you know, open-minded and... And so everything. you would definitely recommend people to go travel yes, and maybe yes. even live abroad to open up and their minds. I, even until now, I still keep in touch with my host brother, who ah. is now TV director with uh, CNN, and you know. <laughs> wow. Okay. <That's>, uh, <laughs> You've got your uh, <laughs> network there. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good network. And I still to have. keep in touch. Yeah. 
great. Yeah. And and then you went, you actually came back for college. I came back for college after I graduated there. And uh, actually, when I was in San Antonio, in Harlandale High School, uh, I took, you know, some uh, courses which related to math. So I was the captain of academic decathlon and everything at the time. Math? Yeah, yeah, calculus, calculus honors. But then I read these uh, novels, Russian novels, <laughs> Dostoevsky, oh, Turgenev, ooh. and then Gogol, and then, you know, I changed my mind. Uh, so I took uh, uh, Russian literature what? in the college. <laughs> what? Okay. No, b- because so I. So do you speak Russian? Da. Da, yeah. Noga. Noga. Okay. <laughs> I only Other know Spasiba. That's it. Don't ask me anything else. <laughs> so I, I decided that uh, I had to take this uh, Russian literature, Russian studies. Yeah. And because I think Russian literature is the maybe One the of best, them. the highest achievement. I was going to say the highest. I don't know about the best. Of human okay. literature. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably one of the highest forms. Yeah. Uh, no, you, yeah, the highest, I think. Did you did you, you did you read it with the alphabets and all that? Well, or I just... read first in English. Right. Yeah. And right. Then I I tried to read it in Cyrillic in okay. Russian. Yeah. Wow. So so you can read a little bit of Cyrillic yeah, yeah, yeah. Russian. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. During that time, I read. Like a whole different. I don't. Yeah. Know. Okay. Wow. That's fantastic. So before you got into literature, that's interesting. You were actually in maths. In math, yeah, in and math. physics, and uh, I was, and I think, yeah, I was like a top gun of calculus honors in my school, yeah. Okay, so see, <laughs> what's your IQ? I think it takes <laughs> no, a certain no. IQ to be able to switch from uh, one, I don't, because not that many people can say they can switch from one focus to another, and that's a completely, that's like humanities, right? Yes. Literature, which is like right brain, and then... No, you know. but I think I believe that from the beginning, uh, my younger years, yeah, my passion is uh, culture, um, okay. literature, the, culture. You know. So that's why then you, when you had the chance to. Yeah. So I, uh, did I've been your parents writing. have a certain idea what they wanted you to be? Well, no. Um, my father was a teacher. Uh, he passed away when I was 14. So it was a, a big accident in Puncak because I studied my uh, elementary school and my junior high school in Puncak area. Right. And I think it was really my maybe my worst and low year yeah, during can that time. I can only imagine. I can yeah. only imagine. And then, uh, yeah, I lost my father there and my mother just a housewife. Yeah. And, I'm and she old. never pushed you to, to be anything? Yeah, or... yeah. Well, actually, my father at the time uh, only asked me, you should graduate from uh, university mm-hmm. uh, or you should go for exchange program. That's it. That is his hope. And you did both. Yeah, so... And you did both. <laughs> and I did both, yeah. I'm pretty sure he'd be very proud right yeah. now with everything that you've accomplished. So, okay, uh, just a really random question. Because you said you did maths and then physics and then you went to literature. Was there any subject you did not like at all? No, I, li- I like all of them. <laughs> he's, <laughs> one of those, he's one of those students you just hate because you're like, oh my gosh, he's good at everything. He loves uh, everything. No, you love learning. I think yeah, probably, I love learning. You know, you, that's the key, right? You know, I, I love learning from the beginning and, and I think I'm, you know, I'm very blessed and fortunate because from the beginning, of elementary school, I always, you know, graduated with um, as a best student. Again, uh, as I said, yeah. a student you'd love to hate. And, <laughs> and, and also in the university, you know. Uh, I think it was a very big competition at the University of Indonesia at the time right. for what so-called mahasiswa berprestasi. Mm. Uh, so it's from faculty, fakultas, and then university, and then nation. So you for, for the first time, a student of Russian literature, <laughs> <laughs> first time ever, and <laughs> so you, became, you, brought, you, know, you brought the trophy home, yeah, that, so to became speak. Became the best university of University of Indonesia. Oh, that's great. And then in, in the nation. So until now, you know, 
I, you know, You're probably the only one. I'm You're the probably only. the only Russian and literature. And even for literature faculty. Yeah. For never happened, you wow. know, again wow. until now. Always with economic students, the medicine, you know. But that's the thing. You also understand economy. And I mean, I, I've heard you speak to my uncle, my dad, talk mm. about economy like that's your field. Like you under, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I took. So nobody would know you took Russian literature, right? But, <laughs> but I know you, 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 you're also a poet and you're also, uh, you're, you sing as well, right? And your daughters sing as well. I think they got it from their daddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not from someone else. I'm not, I, did, I did not say that. No, but um, how did you start collecting things? Well, I started, I think when I was still in the elementary students, you know. So I, very early. Very early. You know, I started to collect my first uh, airplane ticket. Airplane ticket. Yeah. Okay, that's random. I would. I was waiting for stamps, but okay. Yeah, and stamps also. And stamps too. Uh, and now I'm the chairman of Indonesian Philatelic Association. Which is for stamps in case uh, you guys Stamps and everything, yeah. And, uh, well, uh, my mom actually gave me my first hair at the time. So hair? that might be my, yeah. Did you not have hair? No, no, I mean, when I was born, they cut the hair and then... Oh. And that's my first collection. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That went... Phew, over, but okay, your okay. first hair because of... First hair, first hair. After your Potong haircut. rambut pertama. Potong rambut pertama, saudara-saudara, okay? Right, got it. So you've always loved collecting... Yes. ...stamps and... Because there's... ...airplane tra tickets. You know, traces of our life. Because you love history. Yeah, and then... And culture. And, and then when, when I was in San Antonio, I, I watched this movie. Uh, Dead Poet Society. Oh, come on. Yeah, come for many on. times, right? Yeah. And, you know, the fir I mean, the, the best words there. Yes. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Carpe Do you live diem. by that as well? Yes. Carpe diem. Yes. Seize the day. Seize the day. <laughs> Make your life extraordinary. So. Absolutely. Okay, so tell us a little bit. What are... Do you just, do you just randomly, you know what, I'll start collecting this or oh. I'll start... Is there? Do you do make up your mind before you start collecting, or do you just start collecting and you say, you know what, I'll just continue picking bits and pieces? Well, uh, <clears throat> I love Indonesian culture. I love history. <clears throat> I love everything that you know related to Indonesian artifacts and yes. you know. So <clears throat> I started to collect books. Books. I love books. I read, you know. In Punchak, there are not too many books. So. Not too many. Oh, okay. While you were living there, yeah. So when we have books, I, I read all the books there and I start uh, to collect uh, books and new books, old books, older books and... <clears throat> Do you, have you read, Ancient books. Have you read every single book that you've No, 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 not really. That's an, sometimes <laughs> I mean, just... Because you have a lot of but, books. I know, I know. <laughs> but, I mean, just uh, letting people know. There's, you, uh, would you say you have thousands of books? Uh, total, I think 65,000. Thank you very much. He has 65,000 books, everybody. Okay, but, so it's good to know that you're not all perfect. You did yeah. not read every single no, one. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's impossible. But then, you know, all the books that is in my, in the library, I mean, should be through me. So I read, I, 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 I'm the curator you're, of the books. So. Well, this, I guess this is your, it is not a library, it's a museum. Let's just get that. How many places do you have this, just like this? Have you ever stayed the night without anybody else? <laughs> Do you dare to? Well, the energy is quite strong. Oh. <laughs> Let's talk with Sarah. 